It's just landed. Isn't that just beautiful? That is an immature fish eagle, African fish eagle. A very striking bird to have a look at it. Now, Naj, you wanted to know if I could tell you all the birds of the Mara. I, I'm, unfortunately, no, uh, Naj. Sorry, I can, I can recite them to you. Um, I have a book next to me that allows me to, uh, to recite them uh, from A all the way through to Z. There are many pages. One, two, three, four, five, A4 pages of birds in a small script just occurring in the Mara. So I know there's a lot of birds here, but uh, we'll try and show you as many as we can. Um, between myself here on the river cams and whoever else of my colleagues, uh, we've got a general interest in birds. I would say that Brent probably goes a little bit past the general interest um, to a sort of amateur ornithologist. And uh, over the next couple of days, weeks, months and years, you'll get to see a fair portion of the birds that occur in this fantastic ecosystem. Uh, two that you can see right now is this juvenile fish eagle. As far as I know, this is the first time we're showing you a juvenile fish eagle on the show from the Mara. Um, so this is the first. And in the background, in the reeds there, there's a three-banded plover that you'll see uh, bouncing around. There we go, just lifted its head up. Leo, you wanted to know why they're called fish eagles and do they only eat fish? Leo, they don't only eat fish, they primarily eat fish. They are also wonderfully suited to eat fish. They've got big broad wings, they've got huge talons. Have a look at those talons. They've also got a special pad on the bottom of their feet which allows them to, uh, to hold on to slippery fish. Where have you got?